Oh, shit. It is probably like 11.56 right now. Fine has work at 12. We woke up 16 minutes ago. <laughs> so we're off to a good start this morning. While she was getting ready and stuff, I went and started her car, made her breakfast, got her coffee ready. So that by the time she was done, food was done, and she was out the door. So she's on the way over there. Hopefully she's driving carefully. Because um, obviously, very icy roads. But yeah, welcome back to the channel, guys. Uh, for those of you that are new, what's up? Nice to meet you. Hit that subscribe button. Today's going to be that day in the life of the Air Force video. Right now, I got to get showered up. I'm going to shave, get ready for work, head downstairs, get a little breakfast. I'll see you guys in a little bit, and I'm going to talk about some Air Force stuff downstairs. face brush my teeth then we're gonna head downstairs all right we're all dressed up for the most part pretty much just gotta tie my boots put my top on and stuff like that and as y'all know we got the great chicken shortage of 2023 so I'm just gonna make me a bowl of cereal and probably toast some bread and throw some peanut butter on it throw some bananas in it make it a little bit more healthy So while that's toasting for the next like four minutes, I'm gonna tell y'all a little bit about what I do out here. For those of you that don't know already, I am based at J Bear in Alaska, also known as Joint Base Elmendorf Richardson. Funny story about it actually, when I first found out that I got the assignment to come here, when I told my dad, he was like, what's the name? And I was like, Joint Base Elmendorf Richardson. And he was like, what? Richardson? And then he realized he was actually based here when he was in the army. He served like four years active duty and I think another two as guard. About almost 30 years ago, he served in the army on the army side of this base. So that's actually a really cool fact. My job is munition systems. When I went to the recruiter like three years ago at this point, the way it was described to me was you will be building bombs. To anybody that is first hearing this, building bombs, that's pretty cool. So. I kind of put it down as one of the things I would like to do, and eventually I got picked for it. Now what I do here is not, not actually that. We do build fake bombs like twice a year when we do exercises, but other than that, don't really ever touch or see bombs. So that's kind of funny. Recruiter definitely got me there. But yeah, like I said in the first video, my job is to support the aircraft that we have here, the F-22 fighter jets. I think it's like a fifth generation something or other. I don't know much about jets or anything really. I just know that we got F-22s here and other bases have other jets. It's pretty cool. I mean, they're worth hundreds of millions of dollars. I mess with them every single day. Well, I don't really like mess with them. Like I don't get, I don't get to really touch them or anything. My job is really to just bring the munitions out to the flight line. Uh, whenever they need any. That's really all I do on a daily basis, honestly. Some days are more active than others. Other days are completely dead. Like yesterday was just one of those days where you sit in the office and just kind of talk the entire shift. That one job comes up, somebody has to go do it, we do the work, 
going just back to sitting around. You can't really tell what kind of day it's going to be. You just kind of show up to work and see what happens. Let's get that bread. I use Skippy. Funny story about Skippy. Back in basic training, Skippies and bananas were one of the favorited snacks amongst my flight, and I'm sure it was amongst most other flights in the history of BMT. You would just kind of take those little capsules of Skippy, take a banana and just kind of dip it in there, or take your knife, throw it on top. Now that my breakfast is pretty much ready, I'm gonna pour up this milk and eat. I will see you guys in a little bit when I start to head out for work. But for now, I'm just gonna put something on the TV, enjoy my food, and yeah, I'm gonna take you guys for the ride to work. It is about two o'clock now. I'm about to get my lunchbox stuff ready, clean out my mouth, and we're gonna head out. Today should actually be a fairly easy day. This weekend, we're having a four day weekend for Martin Luther King Day. So tomorrow, Friday, uh, we're gonna have off. Monday, we're gonna have off. So I'm actually looking forward to it. Technically, today is Friday. As you guys saw last week when we went bowling, it's kind of up in the air. Hopefully today is a pretty quick and easy day. We can get out of there. Later when we go home, I got a little treat for VNA, so that'll be fun for you guys to see. Here's some yogurt. I'm gonna slice up this banana. So like how I mentioned earlier, my technical job title is Munition Systems, but what we call ourselves is Ammo Troops. There's a wide ammo family across the world on a lot of bases. You know, it's not, at least for what I do on a daily basis, it's not the most exciting job. As ammo troops, uh, we have this ammo coin. This is something that you get in tech school. They usually come around with the sale, you know, selling t-shirts, hoodies, stickers, probably, I don't know. But most ammo troops have this ammo coin. So there's this like ongoing thing, the thing called coin check. Basically, if you're in a room full of other ammo troops and you say coin check, whoever doesn't have a coin, later when you guys go out to the bar or something like that, that person who didn't have the coin has to buy everybody drinks. Or the reverse side could be, you coin check everybody in the room, but if everybody has their coins on them, you have to be the one to buy the drinks. This is actually my favorite one that I bought. I think I have like two or three more somewhere along my uniform, Baby Yoda. Grogu it says, may the bombs be with you, providing boom force. It has like a paragraph saying a bunch of stuff. And at the very bottom, Ayayas, which is an acronym for our famous saying that we learned also in tech school. Uh, if you ain't ammo, you ain't shit, <laughs> which is kind of cringy, but you know, team spirit or whatever. Some pineapples. I love pineapples. Sucks the VNA can't share that love for pineapples because she's allergic. Can't ever have those. Like I said though, it is a four day weekend and we got a couple of fun things planned for you guys. So we're gonna make probably like two or three videos out of this weekend and it's gonna, it's gonna be some good stuff. I'm excited for you guys to see. I love me some Uncrustables. That's pretty much it. Wallet, keys. Well, it's about 2.10 now, so I'm about to go upstairs, rinse out my mouth, and probably just sit around until I have to leave. I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Alrighty, it is now 2.30. It's time to go to work.
2017, all good, chug a look around, find one to see my type, damn my dog and he know what I like, he done found me plenty in my life, problem is I meet a girl tonight, then I go and treat her too nice, gallery of credit card swipes, I don't even know if she a wife, but I do know one thing though, women they come they go, Saturday through Sunday, Monday, Monday through Sunday, yo, maybe I'll love you one day, maybe we'll someday grow, Till then I sit my drunk ass on that runway on this one way. Two thirty, baby, won't you meet me by the beam? Two early, baby, lady, you can show me things. You know what it is whenever I visit Windy City. She blowing me kisses, no. Thirty degrees, way too close, so hold me tight. Will I see you at the show tonight? See you at the show tonight. Okay, 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 okay. Jury in the safe on arrival. Pistol on J for survival. A lot of people gunning for the title. A lot of people trying to take us viral. I'm just trying to have a nice night. The waiter brought a check for the meal. She said, babe, I think there was a typo. Nah, girl, I got it. That's like, though. I can show you bigger things than that. It's gonna be a minute till I'm back. Let me get your images that last. Amex had a limit in the past. I had plenty of women in the past. What's good? I have plenty sin. It is eight o'clock. Wasn't too bad of a day. Not as early as I would have liked, but it's alright. DNA just got home about an hour ago, so I'm about to go to the crib and get with it. I'll see you guys there. I just stopped at the gas station because I just remembered that DNA wanted hot cheetos. I don't know why, but she's craving them. So we're just gonna get them real quick. We are back at the crib. DNA already ate all the hot Cheetos and very much enjoyed them. <laughs> mm -hmm. We're just gonna sit around for a little bit and then we're gonna get dressed into something a little bit more comfy and then we'll see you guys downstairs for the special treat. As you guys can see, it is light outside. It is now a couple days later since <laughs> I last recorded for this video because we got kind of lazy. We kept not getting the opportunity to do this, but we're doing it now, so it's cool. The special treat that I have for her is some MREs. Yeah, I think it would be fun for her to try it. I picked for her my personal favorite, the Chili Mac. And for myself, I went with Chili with Beans. I think that this is also one of my favorites. Anything with chili in it was amazing. I think that this should be fun. We used to eat these back in BMT, especially during Beast Week, just kind of sit on the ground and then take our three to five minutes to eat as fast as we could and then get back to whatever the hell we were doing. I haven't had this in such a long time. What the heck? Why are they so hard to open? I don't remember this part being so difficult. <laughs> yeah. Stick your finger in there. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, I got it. Yeah, I'm a professional at this. I got mini Tabasco. Oh, that's actually really cute. What the hell? Let's see what I got. They told us to never eat these pieces of gum, but any time that we did, you always just happen to like really need to shit. So there's this conspiracy going around that these are laxative gums. <laughs> Ew. That was kind of funny. Cause it was just like immediately like, I have to shit as soon as you pop it in your mouth. It's got coffee? No coffee. Yeah, it comes with coffee, little napkin, salt, little wet wipe. It's got all kinds of stuff. It, I told you, this is like supposed to be meal. What else do we have? I have cornbread, cheese spread. Oh, and then this is how to drink. I got grape, 
beverage powder, carbohydrate electrolyte, so basically grape Gatorade. Ooh, pepperoni pizza cracker. I hated this. Vegetable crackers. They got Twizzler nibs. I don't have any good snacks. What the fuck? <laughs> I just got a cornbread. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is braces. Is it pretty? We need to pass And this is my chili with beans. I'm smelling it. It smells good. They got pound cake. See, this is why chili mac was always my favorite, because it always comes with the best shit. I didn't get anything. <laughs> this is bullshit. I got orange powder. That doesn't sound so good. No, that one's good. Uh, this was my favorite one. It's my microwave. Usually, like I said, you only have like three to five minutes. And you just got to eat what you can in, in basic training. Like, Cheese spray with jalapenos. Sometimes you won't even finish. And especially, it would suck if you don't like the one that you got. So you just really wouldn't eat for that meal. And just kind of starve the rest of the day. If you don't like something in your meal, then you just kind of start making trades with people. Like, hey, I'll give you some of this shit for that shit. It was good time. I don't remember how to do this, honestly. You gotta rip this open. Hair here to use bag. Considering you only have like three minutes, you should know how to do this stuff. Well, this was a long time ago. And I never knew how to do this before basic training, so the first time that I had to do it, I was panicking. I didn't even heat it up the first time because yeah. I didn't know how to use it. Ooh, let me get a little cup of water. You need to put water in it to activate it. Did you make you go find water in the lake? No. <laughs> we always had our fucking bottles on us and we had to use the water from our bottles. Where do you get the water from? There's a little water fountain in the dorms. Like every morning you would have to <clears throat> get in I'm line. still drinking my Starbucks because... Mm -hmm. Every morning, you know, you got to fill up your water and be ready for the day. And they always said, like, you got to drink X amount of water per hour. It was some bullshit. You got to fill it up to this line right here. And you got to take you gotta put things. this in there first. Yeah. All right. I might have overfilled Definitely it. Definitely overfilled it. Whatever. I also overfill it, but it's okay. Hold sleeve until heater feels warm or until one minute lapses. Oh yeah, that's fuck. That's hot. One thing I always found stupid about this, sometimes mine wouldn't heat up the entire MRE. So like half of my food would be warm and then the other half was like cold. <laughs> that was kind of disgusting. Yeah, this is the part where you start like making trades while you're waiting for your food to heat up. I, I want to trade my pepperoni pizza cracker. I will trade you for your teriyaki beef stick. I didn't approve this trade. They got candy, you didn't. I don't know what it's done. Uh, has it been a minute? Probably. While it's heating up, you make your little trades. You pour up your drink so that it's ready to go and eating. See, this side is still like room temperature. This side is like warm. Sometimes I kind of like double dip it and just kind of let it sit in there. Yeah. <laughs> Plate. Utensils. Can't look at that. It smells like chili beans. Well, that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> no. What's the difference between mine and yours? You have macaroni. I'm not so sure I want macaroni. Not gonna lie. Since we ate so much of this chili mac and like chili with beans, Everybody had the gassiest asses you've ever smelt in your life because you know beans will make you fart. Mine's got macaroni turds in it. All right, go and have tea. Mine is still kind of room temperature, I'm not gonna lie. What do you think? I feel like I mainly can just taste the bean or the chili. Oh god, I definitely did not heat this up properly. <laughs> Let me get a bite. Oh, I miss it. Sweet flashbacks. I already feel it coming. What? It's boiling. 
is happening. <laughs> See, I'm telling you, I don't know what they put in this food, whether it's the gum or the actual food itself. Like, this shit gives you gas and the most shitty butt you've ever had in your life. Mine's a little uh, cold, but. <laughs> See, it would probably taste better if I'd warmed it up properly. I'm gonna have a drink now. Get you some proper hydration. Mmm, it smells. <coughs> I inhaled it. Tear pouch, open zipper, and add 12 ounces of water, half a canteen cup to fill to the line. I never got to do that because you're always just like sitting on the floor in the most random places. You can't just get up and go find more water. So, whatever water you had is whatever water you would put in there. Can we throw it up to this black one? Yeah, you're supposed to. It says add 12 ounces to the line, but like, whatever water you had is whatever water you just put in there. Just put the rest of it. Araka! Time to take a sip. You know what? I've been, I've been doing all this prime promotion in the gym videos. This is better than Prime. Don't drink Prime. Drink whatever the fuck this is. I'm not a fan. I also just don't like orange. Good try. I like grapey. Why is it great but it's blue? That's what I said. I thought it was going to be a purple powder. This tastes like medicine. But not in like a bad way. Like just that grape medicine that you would take when you are a kid. That pound cake. I really liked the pound cake. That was good. actually still has a lot of moisture to it. But yeah, these are meant to be preserved. Mm. Pretty good. Kind of tastes like Starbucks. Well, you heard it here first. If you want pound cake, don't go to Starbucks. Well, get I didn't you, say that. Get I you said, an MRE. I said it's it tastes better. similar. You just said it's better. Starb I didn't say it was it's better. It's better. I'm going to give a try to this weak-ass cornbread. It's not a horrible taste, but like, I don't really like the texture of it. You're right, this is better than Starbucks. I didn't say it was better. That's what I heard. I said it tastes like Starbucks. Y'all heard her. There's no flavor. It's got a slight flavor, but the texture just weirds me out. It's like the same texture as this. No, that one's a little softer. What even is pepperoni pizza cracker? I don't know. There's the pepperoni. Oh, those are oh, not crackers. These are like combos. I love combos. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nice. If anybody knows what combos are, it tastes exactly like combos. I'm a fan of this. Yeah. That was a good trade. <laughs> Glad you're enjoying yourself. Yeah. There's a pepperoni pizza MRE. That shit, I had been, I had heard about it and I was excited because I was like, oh, I love pepperoni pizza. And then it was so disappointing. The one day that I had it, I didn't have enough time to heat it up. So that probably factored into me not enjoying it. But I think somebody else that I was sitting with also got it and he was able to heat it up. He was just, <sighs> he was managing his time better than I was. So he heated his shit up and even heated up, it tasted like ass. It was really disappointing and sad. I never got pepperoni pizza again. I'm gonna save these for later. <laughs> Excuse you! Ugh, how do you eat all of this at once? And fast. I wouldn't even get through Well, that's the, the thing. Chili mac. Sometimes I wouldn't even finish my meal. Other times I would, but like, in BMT, you're starving a lot of the time. You're usually very very hungry so this shit slaps but it's very disappointing when you get one that you don't like and then you keep starving the rest of the day how's that jalapeno i people actually like the jalapeno cheeseburger yeah it's not bad it just tastes like regular stuff teriyaki beef stick i got my nibs i don't really like twizzlers like that but i hate twizzlers and this one i like it Come on, 
it's not bad. You trying to get a hit? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I kind of want to taste the coffee. Oh, yeah, they didn't let us drink the coffee in DMT. Well, what the hell is the point? They want you to be tired? Yes, they want you to suffer. Duh. That's the whole point. We only had our canteens to put stuff in, and they want they didn't want us to dirty up our canteens with fucking coffee. Creamer, non-dairy. Oh, you gave me creamer too? Look at that. Got some sugar, Bill's Brew, freeze-dried coffee, and some Splenda. See, I don't know what I would do without my coffee. I would just die because I get really bad headaches if I don't have coffee. <laughs> no coffee, no caffeine. Yeah, imagine all the people who have a nicotine addiction. Why does it look like chocolate chips? Ew, it's expanding. That looks like dookie. Now, what I would do, I would use the end of this thing because you don't have anything else. <laughs> Well, I still have to mix in the other stuff. So. Got my creamer. Yeah, this doesn't really look too appetizing right now. Yeah. Sugar. Ooh. I heard that people would, I don't know if it was with the gum. I'm pretty sure it was. And they would put it like in their mouth right there to keep them up. Yeah, I think that was a thing. Why is it getting clumpy? That was probably a thing for all the nicotine addicts who didn't Maybe, have to Maybe, I don't know. But I saw a video on TikTok of this guy. He just does a bunch of military videos. And he said a lot of people would just take it and then keep it in their lip. And then it would keep them up. I don't think I had any, anybody in my flight doing that. The creamer is chunky. <laughs> no. Well, that's the best it's going to get. It's just not breaking down. And the new <clears throat> Starbucks vanilla latte. Let's say they look pretty. Oh! You dumbass. That's why I closed mine. Y'all check. Bruh. <laughs> you fucking dumbass. That's why I closed the zip on mine. Well, luckily it didn't go on the carpet. That barely missed. It's like on the now. line. That's ridiculous. <laughs> My god. Okay, I'm gonna try the coffee. Honestly, it's not the worst thing. Like, if this is all you really had, I guess if they didn't allow you to drink it, but... If they did allow you to. Yeah, it's not bad. I don't think you would like it because you're just not like a strong coffee type or coffee in general. It's it. very, it's very strong though. Ugh, Jesus. Yeah, this just tastes like a cold brew or something. Let's give this thing a try. You're definitely not gonna like it. it smells like shit. <laughs> That's splendid in there, man. Shit. But you just, you have to have like a real liking for actual coffee not starbucks coffee with a bunch of flavoring and sugar hopefully that pet does something yeah it made it sweet still a little bit of coffee but oh that's better <laughs> bitch there she goes <laughs> Get this. Ah. Happy birthday to you. My candle went Happy out. <laughs> wow. That is sad. <laughs> <laughs> so, how would you rate your MRE experience? I mean, if it's all I had to eat, then... It is all you had to eat. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't. I would say either like a, I think like an eight out of ten. You know, the see. chili mac isn't bad, but I feel like it's. I would definitely just get tired of it and it would make me nauseous. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there were some of those days. Cause some days you get sick of it, but other days it was just like all you had, and oh man, you really see the face of God with that. It's good. You gonna keep that little Tabasco bottle? Yeah. <laughs> it's my decoration. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it, babe. I think the coffee was my favorite part. Anyways, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what my day in the Air Force looks like and her trying MREs for the first time. That's going to do it for now. For anybody that's new, hit that subscribe button. Everybody like up the video. Hit up the comment se section. Say what you think. And yeah, <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.